Fault finding, Range Rover L322 heated steering wheels. So we've done numerous videos, um, but basically they have the feature, some, some cars have the feature, we'll show you a bit more in the car, that basically it heats your steering wheel. And we've done another video where we've ripped a steering wheel apart and Ian will do the little pointy thing. Um, and this is what you get if you rip into a steering wheel and basically you've got all these wires which are heating wires underneath the leather. You can see that goes on there. And the key to it is you've got four wires on this connector here. The fat outer two do the heating wires and that's high current that gets hot. The inner two, which are these funky blue wires, that's what got a, they're the temperature sensor that sits in there. Right, so if you've got a problem, um, this won't be the first thing to do. The first thing you'll do is do the fuse and check the fuse. But that's at the end of the video. We're going to make you watch. Right, here we go. So, multimeter. Put it onto ohms. Okay. Always a good check to do. Check when you touch them together. It goes to pretty low ohms there. So we know it's all good. We know our wires are good. Right, the first thing we'll do is check the, check the outer two, which should be a very low resistance. Oh, thank you, Ian. You got that on the uh, that one and that one. It should be a low resistance if we get it right. Am I not on there? Why am I Try to get there? going that next section. There we go. Yeah, so about two or three ohms. So a very low resistance you should be getting there. Um, make sure it says ohms next to the ohms. Make sure you don't get a K in front of it. All right, and we'll see that on the next screen. But yeah, just there. Yeah. Right, then we'll try the inner two, which is the thermistor. Right, okay, and that should be, and notice that's 13, but notice the K ohms in front of the, you're going to point that out again, Ian? I got that. Yeah, so just there, which is killer, which is 1,000, so it's 13,000 ohms. Now, in theory, Ian, if you heat this with a hot air gun, so as it heats up, that resistance should fall, I believe. It's going down. There you go, there it goes. So that's what happens. As it gets hotter, the resistance is falling now. So depending what climate you live in, that could be. But it wants to be if about... If you left your steering wheel in the, in the hot sun, sun all day... Yeah, it could be between 10k and... Don't be surprised if it, it reads a bit lower. If you're an Eskimo, it might be more like 15k. So that's what we've got there. Right. So, what have we got in the car? So I'm going to grab this with me. Um, and let's go in the car and have a look. So here's the steering wheel. Right, what we've done is release the airbag and Ian will do the little thing that you can watch our video on releasing the airbag. Okay, and that then reveals, you've got enough light there if I tuck that out of the way in. There you go, it's yeah, a bit better. So. You've got the steering wheel heating plugs into this little plug here. And this little box is a box of witchcraft. And basically, it's listening to the sensor and when the sensor says, I'm getting hot, it cuts off the power, so the switching is all done in here. Um, I haven't heard of many of these go wrong. Normally the fault is in the steering wheel. So one thing you can do is you can release the airbag and you can check here um, to check what your connections should should be. Now, the resistances should be, sorry. Right, so that's that and we'll have a little play and we'll try and create some faults to see what happens. Um, but first of all, let's just dive into the fuse box and Ian will show you which fuse is controlling the... Do you want me to video it, Ian? I think we're okay. Do you want me to... So we're going to fuse F29, top right hand corner, the little heated steering wheel symbol there. Which, which, which is, equates to... Uh, which is the top right hand corner again here, the 10... 10, 10 amp fuse. So you've got the 5 there. You've got the 5 right in the, the corner five. and then the 10. 10. So if you've got, and, it, and if you haven't got, if this one's blown, you can pull him out. Pull him out and have a look and check that you've got this little bridge bit inside. If that's broken, you're in trouble. But if your fuse is gone, gone then your steering wheel look. won't light up at all. At all. Well, let's have a look. So I don't believe it will light up at all. So let me just connect this. All right. Careful with your airbag if you don't mess about like I'm messing about here. There's your heated button. Put your ignition on. Make sure your lights are coming on your dash. And sure enough, without the fuse on, it doesn't do a lot. I don't think a lot of the heating works either, to be honest. 
Oh no, the heating works. I don't know what else is on that fuse, just that. Right, so that doesn't work. So first thing, check that fuse. Okay? So we're going to put a good fuse put back good in. Fuse back in. Right, and now let's see what the story is. So press the button. There we go. And that's then heating up. Okay, so I believe that that will stay there. And I believe that light will illuminate even when it reaches temperature. But what I'll do is I'll plug that other. So let me just turn that off. There you go, turn that off. Put that up there. Oh, I don't like playing with it. Right, let me get this, this standard steering wheel. Oh, careful, I don't want to scratch my, my lovely one. Right. Have I got enough length to get that in there? So we're going to just disconnect our uh, current steering wheel. Our lovely steering wheel. And we're uh, connecting up our... And what we're going to do is we're going to play one. cutting into these wires in a minute. That's why I'm swapping the steering wheel. Right, so, that, so that's all there. I'm all comfy. So let's now... He's all plugged in, isn't he? So let's see... Right, let me turn him on up here. Where's my switch? Right. There you go. The lights come on. Right. Now we'll wait. I'll wait for that to get the temperature. But as, a, as I recall, the light will... So there we go. That's getting warm. Right. We'll stop the video there. And then I'll join you again in two minutes when this is all nice and warm. Right. It's got nice and warm now. And I'm using my little temperature. Can you see that, in? Oh, hold on. Oh, the battery's running out. There you go. It's about 31 degrees. It's doing some funny thing on me. There you go. Oh, you know. Okay, yeah, so that's you 31. Right. So that's warm. Now the light seems to stay on permanently, even though it's clicking in and out. I'm hoping, controlling the temperature. That light hasn't gone off. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to in induce a fault. So the first fault I'm going to induce on the connector is I've got a low value resistor, which will put it. Um, and I'm going to do this across the sensor wires, so hopefully it won't go bang, but it should make it think it's got ever so hot, because this is a one, this is a one, a one ohm resistor, and it should be thirteen thousand. So let's see what what let's see what this does. I haven't done this before. Right, are you watching that light up there, Ian? Can you see that? Light's still on. Right, and light's gone off. Right, so if right. So if it's the wrong value resistance, that's going to go. Is it come back on again, or is it probably no? No. Should we? No, we can't turn we it can't on. We can't turn it on. All right, let's uh, let's turn let's it off shut again. Shut it off. Take the key out and take turn the it back key on out. Again. Turn it back on again. Now I can turn it on. On. So, so now, if we try the resistor so, again, so to make right. sure it was that. Oh yeah. What you reckon? Yeah. You want me? To, you, you're determined to blow the car up in. Right. Let's have yep. another go again. All right. Hold on. Right, ready. Oh God. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Off so, so if it goes and you won't reset that unless you. But the good news is the module's fairly fault tolerant because that's a pretty low resistance. Right. There we go. Right. So let's do another fault then. Let's make it. Let's let's make it go open circuit. So that was sort of as close as I wanted to get to short circuit. Now Ian reckons we can. Right, then, Which that? one are you trying to... Uh, Second pin in from the top. So if you push it towards me, yeah. and then I'll pull it that's out. It. Oh, he's stuck on the next one now. I, I'm, I'm guessing that's it. Get him there. In there. Yeah, that's it. We're right. So I've taken that one out. I'm going to plug him back in again. Right, so let's see what happens now if we start it up. We're binging because our key's we're in. we're bing, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. So we've got nothing. There. Yeah, so if it's out of zone, it's it's gonna resistance either way, right? Okay, last test. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put that pin back in and take one of those outer pins out. We'll do that off video, shall we? Ian? Should be able to do it on there. He's gonna go on it. He's going for it. He's, he's showing off today. It's Friday. How long till we go home? Not very. Nice. Too so long. You're gonna cuss me now with you. We're gonna be Other flash. Way Other way up. I think so. Is it not? I reckon it's that way. Oh, I'm right. He looks good. Right, go on then. You reckon a little bit of push and then a little bit of... That's it. Oh, look at that. Right. Okay. So this is now open circuit. Let's but everything else should be... We'll turn the... That. Actually, and you might be right. That, that, that other wires. I know he's got it. He's got it. So we'll take the key out. That seems yeah. to reset it and reset the system yeah. just so it doesn't lock the old fault. Right, so it's going to think the temperature's okay, so let's, let's go for it. Oh, 
No, it went. It flashed on. Did you see that? It flashes, flashes on. on. Right. So it seems that if it won't turn on at all, you've probably got a broken wire or an sensor open circuit wire. in the sensor circuit, yeah. or your fuse has gone. Yeah. And then if it flashes on, it's probably an open circuit on but your we've, heater. We've had some people say that they turn the car on, it's okay for two minutes, then goes off. I, I can't recreate that here. I don't know what it is, but I certainly know that all you need to check is the the resistance of the outer two should be relatively low, three ohms. The resistance of the middle two should be about 13k, 10k, 15k. Um, and I think everything else will be fine. Good luck fault finding with your steering wheel heating, guys.